Hello and welcome to another edition of Ireland in View. In this series of videos, if you're visiting Ireland, we're going to show you what you need to plan and what you need to forget about. And we have some important tips at the end of this video. Let's get started. If this interests you, please hit the bell and subscribe. We will, of course, put a link in the description below for the things that we mention here. If you're considering coming to Ireland to visit, there are certain things you might want to plan in advance. There's lots of things to do in Ireland, including fishing, including camping, sightseeing, and also we have great pubs to have a drink in and great restaurants as well. Depending what your plans are in coming to Ireland, if you're flying into Dublin, for example, for a short visit, it doesn't give you a lot of time to see the city. We'll show you some of the best ways to see the city on a short visit. Fly into Dublin from places like New York on a Thursday and leave again on the Tuesday. One of the best ways to see the city is the hop on, hop off city bus tours. There are a couple of companies in the city doing that and also Viking Splash Tours. The Viking Splash Tours are quite good fun. They're a World War II duck and they will take you into the water. You have to wear a hat of course, a Viking hat with sets of horns. However, if you want to stay a little while longer, there are other things you need to have a look out for. Travelling around Ireland, you can travel by train. You can travel intercity, of course, by bus errin and some of the private bus companies as well. If you want to travel by train, it's advisable to book online as the tickets will be much cheaper. The earlier you can book a train journey, the cheaper the ticket. The services are quite good intercity. But there's smaller places where you will not be able to get at unless you have a car. Don't forget, we drive on the left-hand side of the road if you're coming from America. You can hire a car from Hertz or you can hire a camper van and spend a week or a fortnight as well. On a slightly different topic, one of the things we've been conscious of this year, 2023, is the fact that hotels are very full. So booking in advance is extremely advisable. Also, our hotels are rated as three star, four star, and five star, and the quality goes up with the number of stars. Also, there are loads of bed and breakfast accommodation, which you can book as well, and the bed and breakfast accommodation will be that bit cheaper. Bear in mind also that some of the B&Bs out of season will be closed. There is also a good directory online for Irish B&B. Not surprisingly, it's called the irishbnb.com. Some of the most beautiful places are out of the way and you will need transport. The other thing you will need is a hard map. There are certain areas in Ireland where internet connection is very poor and if you're depending on Google Maps to give you directions, <laughs> it doesn't always work. And we've discovered to our cost, uh, particularly down in rural areas around Kerry and Cork where the internet drops out, and you're particularly lost where you are. So you need a hard map, buy a hard map in any of the stationery stores and try and even buy one before you come. You can download, of course, online and print out in hard copy, which is the best way to do it if you cannot get a copy where you are actually living. Also be aware that some of the heritage sites also close at 5.30 in the evening and sometimes in the winter time they will be closed completely from November to March. Most things are open by the 17th of March, our National Day, St Patrick's Day. So that's something you need to check before you arrive. If you're conscious of money and want to visit in the off season between November and March, and the beauty of that is there are not so many people around, so you're more free to enjoy it. March in particular is a great time to visit as the weather improves. If you find these tips helpful and you like what we're doing, please hit the bell and subscribe. We need subscribers on the channel to grow it and it would be much appreciated. Thank you. If you have any comments or queries, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave them in the comments below. 